can you just tell us about the relationship that you had with her and the relationship she had with the family? Me and Hannah had a really good relationship. We were a close family unit, and I guess that's what makes us hurt the most. Hannah went missing on July 24th, only to leave behind a terrifying audio message on social media. Mom, I'm serious. I think somebody's coming. Mom? Hello? I, I gotta go, Mom. Hannah's family immediately called the authorities, but Brittany says there was something that just didn't seem right. I didn't know, you know, I felt guilty because what if she had been kidnapped? But at the same time, things just didn't add up. Right. You make a video, but you don't call 911. You know, I just didn't understand. Three days later, Brittany said they noticed the FBI at Hannah's friend and co-worker's house, just up the road from her parents' home. And immediately I'm like, oh my gosh, they're going to find Hannah. You know, is she dead? Is she okay? Was this all fake? And then I remember um, a state detective and the detective that was leading the case, um, they drove up to my parents' house later that afternoon. And my mom had been, you know, crying. And I said, what happened? You know, where's Hannah? And she looked at me and uh, she said she made the whole thing up. And, uh, sorry. <laughs> no, take your, take your time. You know, she made the whole thing up. My jaw dropped to the floor. I was like, what? And she, I said, why? And she said, apparently she's been working on a novel. Um, and she was doing research for this novel. And she wanted to play it out. I remember just shaking my head and I just feeling with so much rage and anger. Because here, you know, I had been not eating, not sleeping, worrying over her. They said she was healthy, she looked happy, very well. Um, my mom looked at him and she said, then lock her up. You are vocal um, on social media. What are you hoping when you do speak about it for other people to take from this story? I feel like they should, you know, be prosecuted to the fullest extent. And that's mainly because it seems like there's a trend of people fake kidnapping, you know, staging kidnappings. That needs to stop, you know. It's taking away resources that could be used to, you know, actually find a missing actual person. I don't want people to associate her behavior with how I believe and think is right as a person or my family. Right. We don't condone this at all. Hannah and the two friends she was with were all arrested and charged with false informing. They have all pled not guilty. We reached out to Hannah's attorney who said Ms. Potts is presumed innocent until and unless proven guilty. Their next pretrial hearing is set for later this month.